Thierry, you've had some great <coughs> moments as an Arsenal player. How does that one compare? Um, I guess uh, it's always going to be going, going to be sorry. Uh, one of the top, uh, if not one of the best, because um, it is the first time that I did wear the Arsenal, Arsenal shirt, sorry, sh shirt, uh, being a fan. Um, I became a fan when I left the club. Um, so now um, I know exactly how it feels to score for the club, that, for the club that you support. So um, great emotions. Um, uh, as I said early on in the dressing room, some of the guys, you know, uh, Two weeks ago, I was on holiday in Mexico uh, on the beach, um, and uh, here I am scoring the, the winner against Leeds. But uh, you know, obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some some headlines and stuff like that. But Nico Nico Yunaris and uh, uh, Mikel at the back, um, and some of the guys played uh, played really well. Uh, Oxlade Chamberlain played well. Uh, so obviously, I was at the end of a of a great move. But um, um, as I said so many times. It's all about the team we went through, and uh, that's the most important thing. If you don't do anything else in this Arsenal comeback, does that goal make it all worthwhile, in your opinion? I don't know. I always want more, so uh, I don't know if it's going to be a goal or, or a pass or a tackle or, or whatever it's going to be. I just want to help. I said it so many times. I'm not here to be a hero. Uh, I, I'm just here to be another another player, you know, uh, to help uh, the squad, and uh, that is it, to be honest. Uh, I didn't plan that. I didn't plan to come back. I didn't plan to come on. I didn't plan to score. That maybe I did. <laughs> uh, no, but to be honest, uh, joking about, I, I never thought I was going to be here uh, talking to you after a game. So uh, scoring a winner again for the club that I love. Um, it's. Uh, I'm actually dreaming right now. So I hope. Uh, I hope I won't wake up tomorrow and uh, and someone's going to tell me that uh, that was a dream. Does it seem a bit similar to that night in Prague where you broke Ian Wright's record? Because you weren't meant to play that night. You came off the bench, you scored. Yeah, it's kind of weird because I'll, I'll be honest, I will go back to the fact that it is the first time, that it was the first time that I played for Arsenal being a fan. You know, before I, I, I would have died out there for the, for, for the club. And, but now I'm a fan. It's, it's, it was kind of mixed emotion, to be honest. And, I mean, when I scored the goal, I actually... Uh, I realized kind of after that I scored, it was kind of uh, almost unreal. And you beat your chest and you ran to embrace Arsene Wenger, yeah, what was that about? Just, oh, you know what, I, I didn't even know where to go, what to do, but uh, I mean, it's not the first time that I do that. I, was, I used to do that when I used to score before, I mean, I love the club, I said it so many times, we're not going to to to, to, to redo like the, the, the story about it. I just love the club and that's how it is. And, but as I said to you, for the first time, I played out there as a fan. It was kind of all weird. Obviously, you scored a great goal, but what about the rest of your contribution? How did it feel to be back in English football again? Yeah, it, happened. it did happen so so fast. I, you know what? I just came on. I was looking. The, I was watching the game from the bench, and uh, and I was like, you know, when I'm gonna come on, I'm gonna try to stretch them. Uh, so that's what I, I tried to do when I came on. A couple of balls didn't arrive, and I said to myself, "I'm just going to try to go behind them." Um, and uh, at the end of the day, Song played a, Alex played a, an amazing ball for me, and uh, I had the chance to finish it. But as I said to you, I didn't think too much about it. I just, I'm just trying to go with the flow. And if the boss needs me for a minute, 30 seconds, if he doesn't need me, I, I'm going to try to to be around the guys and uh, and help in the dressing room. But your movement was very intelligent. Does that show what you can contribute to Arsenal? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, we also have to play it down. I know I scored tonight. That's not going to happen every day. Uh, every time sorry, I'm going to play. So uh, uh, I don't know if the, the, my runs were intelligent or not, but that's the way I play. Uh, and I, I, I said it at the time, I'm going to try to bring what I can uh, at the time. So uh, maybe another time it won't be enough, but um, I will always, always try my best. And the crowd's reaction to you, they cheered you even before you got on the pitch, they cheered you when you came out to warm up. Did you expect that? <clears throat> Not to be that big? No, you know what? I mean, uh, it was all crazy when I scored. Uh, myself, uh, I didn't know what to do. Um, but to be honest, uh, enough of talking about myself. You know, I'm getting a bit, uh, it's kind of weird. I wanted to say something also. Paul Johnson lost a. Uh, 
his mom recently. Uh, she was a, an amazing Arsenal fan, huge Arsenal fan, and uh, she used to always be upset when we were losing and, and, uh, and the happiest woman when we were winning. So I just wanted uh, to dedicate the game uh, uh, to her and Paul Johnson because uh, the guy has been amazing. He came in training even though his mom passed away. And he did it for the love of the, of the club, and she 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 also worked for the club uh, and, and and loved the club obviously, and also uh, uh, a woman that used to work for me, well not for me, look after me in my box, uh, Lin Han. Uh, they dedicated the game to them, um, you know, because they were, you know, sometimes you have to give it back also to the people that are behind doors that we don't we, we don't see. So um, to Paul Johnson's mom and, uh, and Lin Han that used to work, uh, look after me in uh, in the box. So the game goes uh, for them. And just talk about the club, the team's performance in general. What did you make of that? Because played very well at the start, but seemed to be slightly struggling when you scored the goal. It's a, it's a cup. It's a cup game. I've been involved with so many cup ties, and uh, don't take it away from Leeds. They were defending really well. They drew here last year, one-one. They scored in last minute penalty. Uh, last minute penalty. The year before that, they won at uh, Old Trafford. Um, Leeds not an easy team to play. They did defend well. Um, you know, they, they, if uh, if their striker scored before, you know that that volley that he blasted over, uh, then it would have been a different game. But other than that, and, uh, it's kind of weird because I, I know the fans wants wants a bit more. But uh, when you play against a team that only that the only thing they want is to want, I mean, win obviously. But they they clearly wanted to bring the uh, the game back to Eden Road. And we didn't. Um, so it was. You, you have to keep your composure and, and make sure you, you can still uh, pass the ball around. And um, we did. You know, it wasn't like uh, the best performance ever. Um, but um, in the cup, you have to do the job, and that's that's what we have done. And just finally, where do you go from here in your short Arsenal career? I don't know. You know what? I just hope that someone's not going to wake me up and tell me that was a dream. That's what I'm thinking about uh, tonight. That's why it took me a long time to come out of the dressing room. I don't know if it's because I'm old and I I'm trying to enjoy every moment that I can. Uh, but I just don't know. You know what? Uh, tomorrow we have a day off. Uh, I'm not going to train hard. That that's what brought me. That's that's what made me uh, um, the player that I was and, and that I am. And you know, it's all down to work. So, and I, like I said, you know, uh, I said it after the game, uh, talking also about Tony Corbett. He doesn't always uh, get some credit, and um, I did work re really hard uh, with him to try to come back to a kind of a 20 minutes type of minutes type of uh, uh, fitness, if I can say. And uh, yeah, you know, the, the, those are the type of guys that are working really hard with some of the players. And and trust me, their job is not always easy because they get the injured players and the players that don't play. And quite often, you know, it's not a an easy one, but uh, Tony Colbert, uh, Colbert has done uh, a great job with me. Thanks for your time and welcome back. Thank you. Thank you.